from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood. exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I disappear for you to appear. I ask for unction to function in the glorious name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. I want us to quickly pray one prayer before we sit down. And that prayer you're going to pray, you're going to ask God, my father, my father, my father, my father, guarantee my promotion. Open your mouth and declare to God. Ask him to guarantee your promotion. We are in the season and we are in the month of the great promoter. The Bible says he's the one that lifts one up and decides to put the other down. Ask him to guarantee your promotion in this month. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, whatever has been taken from you before now, that as you partake of tonight's meal, the Lord should guarantee your promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord, somebody. Please, you may kindly sit down. You are actually, actually in your father's, father's house. house. I, I want, want to thank God for this rare opportunity from our Father, the Lord, to stand on this exalted altar to minister. I'm not taking it for granted. I thank you, sir, in Assemption. And mommy, I thank you too. This evening, shortly, we'll be going into an exhortation of titled A Meal that guarantees promotion. A meal that guarantees promotion. We're taking our Bible passage from the same Bible reading I was taking earlier on. But we're going to read it from the same 1 Corinthians 11, 27 to 30. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27 to 30. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the, of the Lord. But let every man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For if he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the lost body, for this cause many are weak and are sickly among you, and many sleep. My prayer for you tonight is that you will not sleep in your day of promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. God is a God of purpose. God is a God of season. God is a God of order. For everything with God, there is specification that comes with it. Tonight, we want to look how do we eat a meal that guarantees our 
promotion in this season. We just read, according to the word of the Lord, through Apostle Paul, he says, Many eat and drink damnation to themselves because they eat and drink unworthily. May we not eat and drink unworthily in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, For that simpler act, he said, Many amongst us, we are sickly. Many among us never gets to that promotion God has no apportioned for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Number one, for us to guarantee ourselves through this meal, you need to first examine yourself. Examine yourself. Communion has become like a normal ritual. But those of us in the Orthodox Church or who passed through the Orthodox Church, I mean, you will remember in the Catholic Church, you must go for confession before you can partake of the communion. Because you have been taught and you have been taught, I mean, you have been taught that for you to partake, you must be without any form of sin. So, you must, from Friday to Saturday, Saturday, you will go before the priest in the confession box and you kneel down and you confess your sins. And you say, Father, forgive me for our sin. And you begin to confess them to man. And he will tell you, go, tell the penance you are going to do. After that, you're free. On Sunday morning, we all line up sanctimoniously and we go ahead and eat. Praise the Lord. But in the Orthodox Church, I mean the Pentecostal Church, sorry, it is not like that. Because the veil has been broken. We have access to God himself through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the reason why we are here tonight. But he's saying to us, for your meal to guarantee promotion, you must examine yourself. My brothers and my sisters, fathers and mothers in the house, don't come before the Lord's table casually. The meal you are about to take, the meal I'm about to take, is a meal that actually guarantees victory. This is the same meal in the book of Exodus that the children of Israel took at the ceremony of the Passover, just shortly before they depart the land of bondage, the land where they were in captivity for over 400 years. Praise the Lord. So you must examine yourself. Do not come before the table of the Lord casually. If there are things you need to put right, even as you're sitting there, begin to put them right. And I believe strongly that the Lord Almighty will have mercy in the name of Jesus. Secondly, you must amend your way and you must repent of them. Some of us probably just left one argument, one very hot political argument as I speak before coming to church this evening. And you just feel it's natural for you to come before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And you feel it's right for you to just partake of tonight's meal. And you expect an 100% return on investment of the Holy Communion. It doesn't work like that. You must go before God and seek for his face in genuine repentance. And as you do that this evening, the Lord Almighty will forgive you of every transgression in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord Almighty will forgive me of every transgression in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, your self-acclaimed righteousness is like a future rag before him if the Lord were to mark iniquity. True or false? So what gives you the guarantee that you are so clean that you think you can just walk into the presence of God? In the days of old, we know before the chief priest performs the sacrifice, they usually tie a rope and a bell before it goes into the holies of holies. Just in case it doesn't come out, the rope that is tied around his waist and the bell is to signify if he's still alive or not and they can drag him out. Praise the Lord. I pray as we repent tonight before our Father, His mercies will locate us in Jesus' name. 
That takes me to the third point. Ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. A lot of us are so used to God that we just feel that there's no need for me to ask for mercy. The book of Lamentations 3, 22, 23. Lamentations 3, 22, 23. He says we are not consumed because of his compassion. He says his compassions are new every morning. Praise the Lord. It's of his mercies that we have not consumed. Praise the Lord. You need, you need to seek God when it comes to dining at his table. God is the only one who can qualify the unqualified. Some of you, as you are seated now, there are things you are thinking in your heart that is not godly. There are some who is already saying, oh, what is he talking about? Before God is counted as an unrighteousness. The same first Corinthians that we read, 11, I think 30, 31 or so, he said, do not judge so that you will not be judged. Praise the Lord. So you must seek for the mercy of God. That is one thing I don't joke with. Particularly if you check the New Testament in the book of Romans 9, 15 and 16, when the Lord Almighty says, I will be merciful on whom I choose to be merciful. Meaning that it is not in your place to receive mercy except God shows it to you. Praise, Praise the Lord. So every day of my life, I, I, I clothe myself with the mercy of God. I bat myself with the mercy of the Lord. Because it is only God that can qualify you for mercy. I was sharing with my wife yesterday morning when we were talking about, we were discussing some family issues. And I was saying, you know, as a Christian, that one thing that has actually shook me so dearly was last year. Sorry that I'm actually bringing this up. I may be close to Pastor Dari at the boy that passed on. In fact, the last meeting in April of last year, we were together during the Feast of Esther. He ministered and we greeted one of the finest young men of the Adebo is. You understand? And we greeted, we laughed and everything. And when that guy passed on and I said to myself, now wow, even the general of our son, if the general of our son can go like this, who I be? Who be my papa? It's just the mercy. And God said to me, who actually decides on who goes and who stays? So it's the mercy of the Lord. He alone has that right to say, you have received the mercy. And that's why I love that Yoruba, you know, uh, music. Mojukbe, Moria, Nukba, I give God praise because I'm a candidate of mercy. You think it's by your power? You think it's Eshobe? You think it's by your muscle? It's by his mercies that you are standing. Take a cue back January. Do you know someone who has passed on? February. Do you know of somebody that has been accused on, on wrongly and unjustly or what the person knows nothing of? Somebody just said, Yo, you look like that guy. And that was it. Praise the Lord. He's of the mercies of the Lord. And my prayer is that we all be candidate of his mercies in the mighty name of Jesus. As I round up, lastly, make your request. Once you've been able to do these three things before the fourth one, examine yourself, make amend of your ways and repent, ask for his mercies. Once you've been granted mercy, the next thing is you have the floodgate of heavens open unto you. Make your request. And that's what the Bible says in the book of Matthew 7, 7. He say, ask and you shall be given. Seek, you shall find. Knock, the door shall be opened unto you. Once you are able to make these things appropriately before God, sons and man, brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, I can guarantee you, your promotion is now now or zubo zubo as you Igbos will call it is coming right away because you are not coming to his table like every other person who just come casually 
a woman gave a testimony of a cancer case camp last year she's been trusting God the cancer case has gone to I think the second or third test stage and she came prepared to the Holy Ghost communion and she said immediately she finished taking that Holy Communion service I mean that Holy Communion during the service and she went back home she said, she said instantly he knew that something has taken place why? because she came prepared to the Lord's table a lot of us have started taking the Lord's meal as one of those meals and that's why we come casually we return casually praise the Lord may that not be our portion tonight in the mighty name of Jesus in conclusion for this meal to be a meal that guarantees promotion for you and for me we must make our ways straight with the Lord Almighty we must make our ways straight with the Lord Almighty meaning that every form of grudge every form of malice every form of backbiting must be dropped before we finally partake of this meal and as we do this the Lord Almighty himself we bless us richly in the mighty name of Jesus I want us to be upstanding as we take one prayer point. You are going to cry to God tonight that the mercy will qualify your promotion tonight in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something as I round up. When you get home, study the book of Luke 5, chapter 5. 1 to 7. The Bible says there were two ships. Two at the shore at the same time. Why was it Simon Peter's that Jesus chose? I leave that for you to think about. There is what is called the mercy of the head. The mercy of the head. We are going to cry to God tonight. That mercy of the head was what qualified the thief on the cross by the side of Jesus. These guys were condemned already. They had passport straight to hellfire. But the mercy of God qualified one to paradise. Close your eyes. Speak to God. We are in the season of promotion. Father, let me not miss out through mercy your promotion upon my life this, this season. Open your mouth and declare to God, let me not miss out of your promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and cry to God that God will qualify you through mercy. That God will qualify you through mercy in the mighty name of Jesus.
say, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I am dying, O Lord.
have not taken bread? You have not been served bread. Can you please raise your hand? You have not been served drink. Can I see your hand? So we have all been served.
Take a camera, assurance of promotions. Kemara Mama Marawa, both spiritually and physically. In Kamari K Sunday, Nara Kakakaliba Baba Baba Baba. Promotion every side. They can like I say, Yagagagawa. They like I say, they give a baba baba, robo, 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 robo. Shake it, Yagaya. They can Maraca say, Yamara. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Our Father and our God, you have told us that this meal guarantees promotion. It means that it assures us of God's promotion. Father Almighty, because you have spoken, and we know your word is here, and amen. Father Almighty, as we have taken this meal, let our promotion come speedily in the name of Jesus. Any aspect of our life that we are expecting promotion, is it spiritual? Is it physical? Is it marital? Is it material? Is it financial? In any area of our lives, that we have been crying to you for promotion because we have taken your flesh and we have taken your blood. Father Almighty, let those promotions come speedily in the name of Jesus. By the reason of your blood, let your blood go forward and go ahead of us to everywhere we need promotion and let it clear the way for us in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus that we have taken let it clear the way to our success in the name of Jesus. Let it clear the way to our breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let it clear the way to our elevation in the name of Jesus. Let it clear the way for us to the top in the name of Jesus. That everybody that sees us from today, we say indeed the Lord has taken care of them. The Lord has proved himself in their lives. The Bible says even the earth it says, their Lord has done great things for them. So shall it be that every one of our neighbors and people that have seen us before coming here, from henceforth, they will say the Lord has done great things for them in Jesus' name. Promotion comes, and it will be speedily. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Tell your neighbor, promotion comes. Let somebody shout hallelujah.